So when we heard about the Tour de France starting in Yorkshire, we um, thought it would be a great idea to do something for that. And I went along to a big launch about the cultural festival that was happening in Yorkshire. And from that got quite a few ideas about what we might do. And um, went back to the committee. And one of the things we talked about was wanting to do something that involved lots and lots of different choirs, not just our choir, and bring everyone together to celebrate singing together in the spirit of um, joy and exuberance, uh, which we thought was part of the Tour de France. So um, we then had to go to the Minster. We spoke to York Minster and they agreed to partner us in the um, endeavour, which was fantastic, and gave us a date. Um, we also then had to apply for funding, which was a, a major feat, but we're very, very, very grateful that the Arts, the Arts Council and the Foyle Foundation, John Lewis Partnership, and various of the trusts and foundations and the Shepherd Group have given us money towards it because we needed that money to commission Alexander Lestrange. Um, the musical director, Stephen Williams, thought that he'd be a brilliant person to bring on board because of his experience in creating large-scale works of this kind and uh, that was an, an inspired idea because he has been brilliant doing that. My name is Stephen Williams, I'm the musical director of the Chapter House Choir who sing uh, a wide range of music and commission a lot of composers to come up with wonderful ideas uh, which we love to sing in York Minster, which is where we are now. You can probably hear a little of, bit of reverberation and that's because we're in this enormous Gothic cathedral. And I'm feeling quite exhilarated because this is the end of our first mass rehearsal which has gone incredibly well and we've brought together several choirs from across Yorkshire for the first rehearsal of a piece called Song Cycle which was written for this evening for uh, a performance tomorrow uh, written by a wonderful composer called Alexander Lestrange. Um, it brings together lots and lots of different styles of music um, from sort of almost barbershop to uh, Victorian parlour songs, there's a bit of sort of very modern jazz as well. And it's really exhilarating to see the choir this evening respond to all those different styles of music. We're almost at the point of uh, being ready to perform it and we've got a day of rehearsals tomorrow. So we start quite early tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Uh, and the band are coming from various parts of the UK as well. So there's a lot of excitement around getting ready to put this whole project together. You have permission from me and from Alexander to get things wrong, to, to make this piece really live and to just sort of enjoy singing it, okay? So, here we go. Jazz 
freewheeling and careering through Regent's Park on it, knocking over, they're like lawsuits about these dandies knocking over civilians and all that sort of stuff. Right. So I've got the choir singing, the velocity is all the rage, you know, and they're being like a bit kind of posh and dirty worstery. So it's meant to be very kind of quirky, it's like, whoa, watch out, man. So I mean, if, if we could make a quirky groove that, that sits, I mean, I'd, I'd love to try it. You yeah. make it feel awkward, yeah, yeah. at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and really excited to be here. The people were loving the experience. It's nice to see other choirs as well and to speak to a few people from different areas of the, the country. Um, and it's just amazing to hear all the choirs coming together that haven't sung before and on the day rehearsing. And it's absolutely amazing. And um, we're here to just represent the stages of um, the Tour de France from Swaledale area and we're thoroughly enjoying it. And uh, it's great that all these other choirs have, have joined us. We're very privileged to have uh, commissioned this piece and I think everyone's having a tremendous time. All in all it's just a fantastic experience and uh, we're really looking forward to it. We're really looking forward to getting in there in, in the final performance. It's one o'clock and we've just finished uh, the first big totty rehearsal and uh, it's coming together really amazingly and it's beyond really what I'd anticipated at this stage. Uh, six and a half hours to the concert um, and everything is really in place now. An incredible sense in the room of this sort of spirit of sort of coming together. Everyone shares the same hobby, which is choral singing, and a lot of people are cyclists, and there's a sort of common energy which is sort of being fed into the rehearsal. So um, it's been a real delight, um, pleasure, and um, there's a sort of, I guess the most important thing is the energy that's coming from the choir, and the energy that's sort of, we're feeding back, you know, Alexander's been in the rehearsal as well. So, uh, yeah. Everything is uh, tremendous, really looking forward to it. So we've just finished rehearsing in the Methodist Central Hall and we are walking now up to the Minster for rehearsal in situ and getting ourselves placed on stage. Um, it's an amazing event, truly, it really is. It's just amazing to have 300, 350 people joining together in this amazing music making ex exercise and uh, we're just going to have such fun on stage tonight. Yep, we're standing outside the south door of the Minster, waiting for the wedding to finish, so that we can all go in and start our rehearsal. Um, this is the only time we all get to rehearse in the Minster, so uh, all sorts might happen. I'm Alexander Lestrange, and I'm the composer of Song Cycle Vive la Belle Russion, which is the new 45-minute choral work uh, extravaganza for singers, uh, jazz quintet, bells, whistles, pumps, all that kind of bicycling paraphernalia. So I had the commission from uh, Stephen Williams and the Chapter House Choir in York uh, last year and I started writing the piece um, this January and I finished it uh, in time for Easter, in time for Faber Music, the publishers, to print the copies up and uh, the choirs, 400 singers from across Yorkshire have been uh, learning it and rehearsing it over this last term. And now this weekend, of course, is the culmination of it all as we get ready for the Tour de France celebrations and we sing this huge concert in front of a massed audience here in this amazing building, York Minster. I've previously written large-scale choral works um, for, uh, for different choirs around the country. Uh, the first was called Zimbe, which is African and gospel and jazz music, and that's had over 150 performances all over the world, I'm delighted to say. Uh, and then last year, 2013, I was commissioned to write Ahoy, Sing for the Mary Rose, which is a piece that combines sea shanties and Tudor music and was celebrating the Mary Rose ship in Portsmouth. And that was also a huge performance. Uh, but this venue here in York Minster, and to have this number of singers and uh, a massive audience as well, I'm really, really excited. Seeing the project come to fruition has been um, the product of lots and lots of hard work by lots of people, particularly the Chapter House Choir in York who have been amazing at uh, raising the funds necessary for such a big project as this, the commission fee, but also the logistics of making it work. We're also grateful to John Lewis and various other sponsors for, for helping out with the concert itself. But I've been incredibly impressed with the way the choir have pulled together. And actually just today in the rehearsal we had lots of visiting choirs from Sheffield and 
Ilkley and Keighley and lots of other places across Yorkshire and to see the way the Chapter House Choir in York were kind of leading it and uh, welcoming those other choirs was also really, really impressive and exciting. Bodes well for tomorrow. Premier, composed by Alexander Lestrange, under the musical direction of Stephen Williams, Civic Party, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for Song Cycle, Vive la Vélorussion!
spontaneity, it was buzzing, it was humorous, it was fun, it was well in tune, the band was fantastic, it was just great. Um, and it, all the hard work setting it up and organising it has been really worthwhile. And it has been hard work, there's no denying it, and here we are well after everybody's gone home counting scores and trying to get things back to publishers and so on. But um, no, it was amazing. And the children were fantastic and everybody's mucked in and done a fantastic job. Wow, well that was some experience. The world premiere of Song Cycle, Vive la Belle Russion. It went like a dream. We had the whole audience singing Daisy, Daisy, thousands of people. The choir, including the children's choirs, were amazing. My band with Martin and Julian, Pete, Nick the drummer, it was just brilliant. And even better, my children came and they made it for the second half. We've got Toby and Harry. What did you think of Song Cycle? Really good. Really good. It was breathtaking and thrilling. I just loved it. Breathtaking Cycle and thrilling. Two. How cool is that? And wow. Well, it was just, it's a fantastic feeling to have heard the Minster really, you know, just ringing with sound and to know that, you know, 350 people, I think it was, all around us were enjoying it as much. It was fantastic. And to have a really good audience as well. No, I think it's been... Um, very uplifting, quite exhausting, but uh, all the logistics have worked as well, so uh, that's been really good, fantastic. In petticoats, heavy skirts and corsets We moved about with a ladylike gait Resplendent and oh, so respectable With respiration responsibly restrained though uncomfortable and unable to move with ease it wasn't our place to complain until along came this wondrous invention and life was never the same again. 